Hi there, for those of you who are not using Foursquare, this is a very quick overview, and those of you who are, here are some of the changes. This is Amanda Hill from the Social Media Cafe, let's go and have a look. So, as you can see at the top, this is the map of where I am. I am here. It knows that because I've checked in on my phone, and you download a freebie app. I have a BlackBerry, so it's straight on my BlackBerry. If you've got an iPhone or an Android, you can still have that as well. So it's pretty cool. Now you can see over here suggestions for today. These are people who have registered with Foursquare and put deals and all sorts of things on there, which is pretty cool. So I can also go and have a look and see what personalised recommendations they're going to give me. Now a lot of this is going to be based on places that I've checked in previously. So I checked in at IKEA, in fact I think I only did that yesterday and somebody's very kindly put a message that says forget the furniture try the hot dogs you can see it's listing quite a lot of places all over the place that are very useful to me and if we scroll down there's lots and lots of other places that have been listed on here with little comments and pictures and check-ins from people we've got choices from top picks food coffee, nightlife, shopping, arts and outdoors and we can do a search so that's pretty cool I'm just going to go backwards on my browser to take you to where I was previously oh and it's disappeared that's not very clever is it back so back to my front again and I'm going to turn on what's new on Foursquare, okay? So it's now enabled and it's going to show me all the cool new things and I can update my settings as well. So let's just do that as well. Now I do have my Facebook and my Twitter linked but I choose when to post stuff to them. And you can see under here, you'll always be able to choose which check-ins you share on Facebook. Now if this is ticked, it will be there and you can untick it off your phone if you're checking in on your phone. But if you tick it and just go through and update it every five minutes when you're checking into places, especially when you're new to this, you do risk upsetting people and them unfollowing you, which is probably not perfect. Now, you can see my last check-in was at the Social Media Cafe, and from that I get quite a few comments. I'm quite happy to post it so that my connections on Foursquare see it. Foursquare you can have up to a thousand connections, which is a lot less than any of the other social networks, but I have had lots of comments and interaction from it, which is pretty cool. So, we're going to have a quick look at what's new on Foursquare. There's the explore section which we just had a quick look at. You can now save to Foursquare. So you can save the button to save places that you're reading about to put on a to-do list. That's pretty cool. So why don't we just quickly do that and we are going to, where should we go? We'll go for an Italian. My favourite food. So what's it's giving me? It's giving me Dante's. You see there's not an awful lot of people on here. So isn't it time that you actually got round to put yourself on here? Because I'm typing Italian restaurant and Enfield and it's picking up on Enfield. And there's not an awful lot. So Dark's Lane is quite is um quite away from here. Um, I'm not sure where 36 Italian restaurant is. Um or well, this one is, but they're not on my doorstep, and Holloway Road is miles away. So if you do have a local business that does have bricks and mortar, I'm highly recommending that you put yourself on here. So let's have a look where La Trevi Italian is, and we'll try and use the save to full square button with that. So it's in Hyams Park, which means it's not a million miles away, and how nice, somebody down here has actually left comment which is great 
and it's telling us there's a car park as well so if your guests are driving that's cool um, the mayor is somebody called Louise who I've not connected to and she's had three check-ins in the last 60 days so she must either work there or really like it and there's that share button which is just up there so I've now kept that on my to-do list so that's pretty cool isn't it having a to-do list of things that you want to get round to so you could do a nice little to-do list of places that you want to go to and the next time you find yourself with five minutes then you can go and do them which is pretty cool so they're the only things that seem to be coming up on there but the whole layout of this is much nicer than it was and lots more people are putting things on so this little section here which says businesses it's saying to put your own company on there and you can put a brand on there as well so you can go and claim your venue so let's go and find ours So we've got quite a few on here. I've had quite a few check-ins, so I'm just having that's the one. So we want that one there. And I can save that and add it to my to-do list, and then other people are going to see my to-do list. So if they're checking out my to-do list, then the chances are they're going to come and see all the tips that I've left on here. Can you see I've added lots and lots of tips? Yeah? <laughs> Just laughing at the loving leak um, made by. So this is the bit you're looking for. Do you manage this venue and claim here? Now apparently they've made this much, much easier for you to be able to do. So I've just clicked on there. And it's saying um, over 750,000 businesses are using Foursquare's free tools. In just 90 seconds, and this is new, a one-time $10, uh, 10 US dollars verification fee, you'll be able to attract, analyse and update so that's new it didn't used to cost you anything to do it but obviously they've all got to monetize and I need to just quickly check where my phone is for them to verify and they're going to ring me now I'm going to just put this video on hold a second while I do this and I'll bring you right back when I've done it as you can see it's now been verified and it's going to take um, my details off me to do it. All you had to give them was who you are, your name, your company and who you are in relation to that company. So it's going to allow managers and that sort of thing presumably to do it. And it flashes up a code on the screen and that code can be used um, and instantly says confirmed and then it gives you this screen here. So I'm going to fill this in, put it on hold a second, and we'll see where we go from there. So, that was very, very quick. There was a snail mail option at the bottom that takes um, 10 to 15 days, I believe it said. And I didn't see a price on that, so if you don't want to take the, the, pay, the $10 to get instant verification, that's possibly a way to go. So, let's get started. And they're asking for... Um, all of my details and that's all correct my own Twitter name on there. And post site on there. A 
time we're going to need to put a description of something in there. So, what should we put? Think of all your keywords that you want to be found for. that will do for now. No doubt at some point I will go and change that and do something with it but for the moment that's now all done. I can now run campaigns. Now that was the whole point of doing this. So if you have a business where people can come and check in you can add campaigns. How cool would that be? For those of you who are very new to this, when somebody checks in and they take on one of your um, offers, they're sharing it with their Facebook and their Twitter friends. That is absolutely free publicity for you. So what you need to be doing is putting something on there that is an added value, not a cut price, I don't believe in cutting your prices, but absolutely add some special offers there and then when people start checking in they're sharing it with everybody and you get seen a whole heap more. That is incredibly powerful for your business. I was reading something yesterday that it's 37 times more likely when you use something like this that people will see it. I'm liking those figures because if you think that there are the average number of friends, which I still don't get, is 130 people. You times that by 37, even if only 10% of those are seeing it, that's still 370 potential people minimum. That's pretty cool for me. But hey, it's not difficult to do. I highly recommend it. And if you've got any questions, why don't you come and have a chat? fb.com forward slash the social media cafe. My name is Amanda Hill and I look forward to chatting to you.